It's Wednesday, Klaus here. It's time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hello, Klaus here. It's Wednesday and time for yet another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this episode, we're going to have a look at um, making a pretty still product shot more interesting. So this is what we're going to work on today. This very still product shot. It almost looks like a still, but actually it isn't. Um, there's just no movement and no um, extra fun added into this. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this episode. So let's uh, start out by selecting the clip and let's jump into Fusion. So here we are in Fusion. I'm just going to close down the inspector here. So again, here I have my media in and my media out. And all I'm going to add for now, at least, is some noise. In this case, it's going to be fast noise. I have right here, I'm going to add that in. And I'm simply just going to drag here and connect this to the media in. Now my fast noise is now in. And what fast noise is, it's um, noise you can make look like steam, smoke, fog, different stuff. Uh, even you can make it look like um, sandstorm and stuff like that. Selecting the fast noise, going up to the inspector. And in the inspector we have different things we can do. So let's say we want to do something with the detail first. I'm going to bump that up quite a bit. We also have a contrast where we can make it, you know, more contrasty. Depending on what we want to do. If we want to make like some kind of a fog or something, I might take the contrast down. If I want to do smoke, I would take it the other way. And I'll be somewhere in between the middle with this. Something like that. And then we have the brightness where we can brighten it up. I'm not going to use any time on that. We have a scale if we want to make it very, very, very small or big. In this case, I think we should be around here. Looks good. And then we have some angle where we can change the angle and stuff like that. We also have seats. That's just how much movement we're going to have. If we have zero, as you will see, there will be no movement. If we're going to bump up the seat, we're going to have movements a little, we're going to bump it up quite a more. We will have movement as soon as we also add in a rate, something like that. So now we have this movement here. Well, and this could work for some kind of a steam. Okay, then I want to go to the beginning of the keyframe and I'll go into the, this where we have center and I'm going to put in a keyframe and then I'll go to the end of my clip here and I'm going to use the y-axis to put it upwards so it will be moving upwards. So now we have this thing here. Pretty, pretty basic and pretty simple. And you know this could kind of work like if we wanted to have some kind of steam coming up of this uh, M in theory empty cup but we are now pretending it's filled with hot coffee so if we go in and we take a polygon mask we can put that right here and we're going to select the polygon and we're just going to draw in a mask so we can do whatever we want here let's say we're going to make some kind of comb or something like that we might want to do a little bit of variety in this as well, something like that. There we go. And then I'm just going to connect this into my fast noise here, like that. So now we have this, but this still looks quite crappy because of the way we did the mask. So again, going into the polygon, we'll go into the soft edges and we're going to bump that up quite a bit. And we can also use the border width to make it like a little bit smaller like that. So if we go back to the fast noise, we now have this effect of steam coming up of the hot coffee. I mean, compared to what we started out with, you, you know, 
I think we have now done this a little more interesting. At least it doesn't look like a still photo. So the next thing we could do would be to add in movements. And the fastest way to add in movements, since we are in Fusion, is to add in a transform node, which we have right here. I'm going to add in the transform node between the merge one and the media out. Then we'll go to the beginning of the clip. I'll put a keyframe into the center and the sizing, and I'll go to the end of our clip. And I'll just start by using the sizing. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here, and then I am going to move it a little bit up, and I'm going to center it a little bit so it looks a little more nice. So now we've done this little super simple effect on our uh, clip here. So it's a more alive clip. It would be nice to use this for some kind of a hero shot or something in a super low budget commercial you would be doing. This would be the shot showing you the coffee cup. And then, um, well, I think that's qu quite nice. For instance, if you wanted to add m different things like uh, particles and stuff like that, maybe you want to use like some kind of a overlay and something like that, you could do that, add that in from the media pool and add it into your composition. However, I usually would do something else. So in this case, I'm going to take my transform and I'm just going to delete my transform. So now I have this empty shot right here go back to the editing tab. I'll go up to my media pool and I have here a particle filter here I want to use. And I'll go up to the inspector and I'm going to go to the composite mode and I'm going to change that to screen so we can see something. So as you see, we now have some particles here because we want to give this clip some kind of an atmosphere. I'm just going to duplicate that so it'll fit the screen here. So for instance, if we wanted to do the exact same thing as we did in Fusion, but we want to add in our particles and we want the part particles to be part of our zoom, the easiest way to do that would be to go up to effects and go in and take a adjustment clip. Adding the adjustment clip on top of all the clips and we'll go up to the inspector here. I'm going to put in a keyframe in the transform here so I can move everything around in the beginning of the clip. I'll go to the end and I'm simply just going to zoom in, reposition, zoom up a bit like that, something like that. So we've done the same thing here. And since we're doing it this way, we're also doing the zoom on the particles in the front. If we wanted to, for instance, have, have it the other way around. We could move the layers around and then the particles would be on top and we're not going to zoom in on those in the same way. So it'll just be there the whole time. Okay, so that is how we could make a product shot more interesting to watch pretty fast and pretty easy using the Vinci Resolve Fusion and the edit page. I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.